Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Brian's Farm. I know it's kind of been a while since I've uploaded, but no need to fear, I am back. Right now, I'm starting out in our greenhouse out at our farm market, which is kind of hard to see because I'm inside right now. But what we're working on is the floor has gotten holes in it throughout the years. And each year the hole gets a little bigger and a little bigger. And now it's gotten to be kind of a tripping hazard. So when customers come in, we don't want any issues or problems. So we're getting all the tables out, which sadly I didn't video this yesterday when we started taking the tables out. There was tables all along that wall. There was two rows of tables up this aisle. And then there was obviously a row going up this side, which we have not gotten out yet. So Sammy, my girlfriend, is going to be here in a couple minutes. We're going to pull these out, and then we're going to start taking these boards off the side here, which is holding up this fabric, and then we can roll this up and get it out of here, and then hopefully start laying the new stuff down. So out here is some of the tables that we've already taken out. And now the rest are gonna be coming out here. And it's actually not a bad thing that they're out here. Kind of gets them out, get some aired out a little bit. If there's any kind of diseases living in them, maybe, you know, the cold will freeze it or, you know, the rain will wash it out of them. And then we're also gonna come back through once we get the fabric down and the tables back in here and we'll sanitize the whole greenhouse. We just got about everything cleaned out of here. Now we're gonna start going through, like I said, and taking these lath boards off the side. Sammy's gonna demonstrate that in just a minute here. No, I'm not. Come on. No. Say, do it. Got to do it. You do it. No, you do it. Why do I have to do it? Take a laugh at me? I'm not gonna laugh at you. Yeah, okay. Don't laugh at me. Is it in reverse? Yes, Logan, it's in reverse. That's not in reverse. <laughs> Beat him! Oh, this one's strut. No, it's not. Just yes, press, it press hard, press hard. There you go. So all it is is this little board. Hey, come here. Pressed up against this fabric to hold it. If we would only put the screws right through the fabric, right it would probably just tear through if it had any kind of tension on it. Hey, yeah, I got a squirrel. Yeah. She's all over her. Dad, aren't you proud of me? It's like I got a squirrel. A couple of years ago, a customer ended up running right through our greenhouse. So they took their car right into their greenhouse and they bent two or three of these poles, I can't remember now. And so Sammy and I had two. to come. No, there's, we fixed three, I think. We yeah. fixed three, but there was, oh yeah, there was three minutes. And so anyway, just from here down to the ground, we had to replace. And so we had to put a new board in. 
and actually the greenhouse turned out fine. We were nervous it was gonna be a little more expensive, but it wasn't as bad as what we thought. Line the bit up, Sammy. Those four, there you go. Press on the back of the drill. I know how to do it, Logan. Press on the back of the drill. Don't press on the bottom of it. I'm telling you to work better. There you go. See? No more stripping. Stripping. <laughs> Watch, you just lost a nail. You mean a screw? Same thing. Not really. <laughs> Stop. While she takes those boards off the side, I'm gonna go up the center. We have large nails, which I might need a hammer. We'll see here. With a washer on the outside to hold the fabric. Yeah, I might need a hammer. They go all the way down the center here. And then I think there's another row of them, yeah. Right here. And then that side over there she has to take off. So I'm going through and just loosening the nails. And then Sammy is going back through and putting them in the bucket. These end ones here that haven't been stepped on by anybody come out a lot easier. Okay, so we're just getting the final couple things out of here. We got all the nails out, all the boards out. Now, me and Sammy can go through and start rolling it all the way up. And then go get the new stuff and start laying it down. I thought about reusing this for outside in the zinnias. No. Why? I got so much. <laughs> See, that's why you're not doing it right. I'm not doing it right.
Okay, so we just got the fabric. This roll, we're pretty sure from what we figured, will unfold twice that length. And then we're gonna do the next roll on that side and they should overlap in the middle, hopefully, if we calculated everything correctly. So what we're gonna do now is make sure we have enough slack here on the ends to cover all the way to the end. And then we're gonna roll all the way down. And then once we get down, we'll cut it off and then unfold it into the middle. So now right here, we'll grab this edge. Sammy's gonna grab that edge down there. And we're gonna hopefully try and pull it back. Okay, so now go back in this corner and pull it right along the edge. You might have to like get on it and jump. So it's actually so close to where we're gonna lay out this other side and figure out how far we need to cheat this plastic off the edge of the greenhouse because I'd rather have an inch, two inches, maybe three inches on each side that's not covered with fabric rather than have a three inch gap in the middle where everybody's gonna walk. So just so there's no mistakes, we're gonna cut it now, unfold it and see where we end up here. All right, well my camera died but the greenhouse is basically done now. Kind of took a while because you want to try and get the least amount of crinkles in here as possible. And if the weather is a little cold, if it's too warm, it doesn't lay quite as nice. So I think I got it laying the best that I could. And then just like before I went through and fastened all my boards back on and then put my pins back up the center. So there's really not any big crinkles and usually the longer this sits it will kind of uh, relax and lay a little bit flatter so that's what i'm kind of hoping for now the only thing we got to do is bring the tables back in and we should be ready for the season to start we're thinking about maybe taking our tables and repainting them i don't know if we're going to do that or not but that's something we got to decide here within the near future <laughs> 